Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon right here on Missildine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. You found you, you, you did it. You found another Legend of Dragoon video. Thank you guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, huge shout out to those watching in the premiere every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. It's good to see you guys. Let's jump right into it. In the last episode, we defeated Linus, finally, but we were unable to catch her in time before she handed the moon dagger off to Lloyd. It seems that she was working with Lloyd the whole time, and that was her love, the reason why she was doing all of this. We defeated her, she lost her dragoon spirit, and instead it found its way to Miru, who is our newest dragoon in the party. And of course, we were able to defeat the blue sea dragon Regal, uh, which is pretty cool. And also Miru uh, has equipped right now the jeweled crown, which is one of the weapons that we actually, uh, or the equipment that we were able to not only get from uh, Linus herself, but we were also able to find one in the undersea cavern. So you can actually check out what that is because I didn't go over it at all in the previous episode. So the Jeweled Crown, when magically attacked, SP is accumulated. And it is a very good upgrade for Miru, increasing her attack and magic defense. Of course, the Legend cast would be better, but we need that SP. So uh, we're going to keep we're going to keep Miru with the Jeweled Crown for now. Anyways, in this episode, we are going to wrap up Disc 2 and start Disc 3. We're cruising now, guys. So, Danau, the water city. We're going to have to cut all the way through Danau, through the Barrens, and back to Fletz. And look at that. With the power of editing, we're back in Fletz. That was so fat. You guys didn't even see the journey, the trek. And it was actually kind of cool, because in Danau, if you talk to anybody, they'll mention how they just found out that the sea dragon is gone, and they, they're wondering who cleaned up the sea. And I, I think that's pretty neat. Uh, and then this guy, Nello, here says, Recently, I feel like I am being watched by somebody. I wonder if somebody is concerned about my greening plan. If so, I hope that person will promote the greening plan together with me. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. You know what? No, I don't. Oh, yeah? You don't know? Well, let me tell you. I don't think... It's about Princess Lisa. It seems she is in love with somebody. How did you find out? <laughs> we girls have a wide network of information on romances. Just kidding. Actually, anybody can tell if they see the princess walking down the street. Is that so? And somebody said, and somebody was watching Nello. Lisa had her telescope down to the ground, and Lisa's in love with somebody. Huh? Yes, of course. Oh well, boring. All right, whatever, dude. Well, let's see if anybody else has anything interesting to say. The coming of age ceremony is over. Let's have a toast to celebrate. Dude, that was like forever ago, you dweeb. What about our resident uh, Kefi here? There's a welcome party for the heroes who saved the country in the Twin Castle tonight. It seems everybody's busy with the preparations. Hey, that's us. Also, uh, we can talk to Martel here and give some of the stardust that we found. We are now up to 35, I believe, the last time we talked to her. Yep, there we go. We gave her five. Thanks a million. Thanks in advance for the next time. Five more, and we will have the penultimate thing that she gives us. There are only 15 Stardust left in the entire game, my friends. And uh, I doubt Fester's home, because he never is. We don't need to stock up on anything, because this, 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 dear viewer, is the end of Dis 2. And it's, it ends just like it started. Princess Emil is here. Let's go. Her graceful steps, her dainty movement of the hands, her gracious eyes. She must be, she is our Princess Emile. Princess Emile is back. That's right, no longer is it the bandit Linus pretending to be Emile. I have returned after a half year of sleep. Whew. My father, King Zor, wouldn't say it. But I heard that the evil doings of the sinner, who feigned to be me, has harmed our people in Tiberoa. I can say it is my fault, because people were wounded by trusting someone they thought was me. I am determined to make atonements for this, even if it takes forever. It wasn't your fault, your majesty! Please, don't blame yourself, your majesty! Your returning only makes us happy! I owe you a debt of gratitude. I love this country. 
I love you people. Let us make this country continue to be a wonderful country. Country. I have a favor to ask you, Princess Emile. May I ask you to name my baby, my soon-to-be-born baby, your highness? It would be my pleasure. Hmm. How about I for a girl and Al for a boy? They have the sound of great energy and strength. They are beautiful names. Thank you very much, your highness. God bless Princess Emil. God bless Zimbaroa Kingdom. All the best for the kingdom and us. So much better than she would when she was the evil Linus. Oh, Princess Emil, how beautiful she is. Albert? Uh, uh, just, just like I imagined. Oh, thank you, Lord, for leading me to the country of Princess Emile. Uh, is something wrong? Hmm? Oh, uh... Oh, no, uh, where's Princess Emile? You can meet her again in the castle. That's right! We're going. It seems like a dream that we had so much trouble. Hey, big guy, I won't stop you folks. You can pass freely. Hey, he's our friend now. Remember? Wow, it feels like forever ago that Miru, like, ran into his belly and fell. Jeez Louise, it's been so long. We have been waiting for you, sir. Please proceed to the Chamber of the Sun. What? A salute to the seven returning heroes. A salute to the seven returning heroes? All right, Chamber of the Sun it is. We're here. Well, I guess just the four of us. Heroes! Forget about formality. You are the special guests of Tiboroa. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm glad you are safe and sound. My sister is now acting as if nothing happened, but until you came back, King Albert, she had lost her appetite completely. It's not only a meal. We were longing for all of you to come back. Well done. But the moon dagger is still in their hands. Stop it. You people brought justice upon the evil bandits. You defeated the sea dragon that infested Elisa Bay. It was you, young people, who brought peace and happiness to Tiboroa and brought smiles back to our people. However, the Moon Dagger has to be passed on to Princess Emile. Ha! <laughs> the Moon Dagger is a mere royal tradition. Tradition alone doesn't put smiles on our people's faces. That is all the Moon Dagger can be. King Albert, we are satisfied with the way things turned out. Instead of the Moon Dagger, we found something else to hand down. That is the heroic story of you. It will be passed down through the ages from person to person. The seven stars arose from the east to save the country of the king who lives in the chamber of the sun. It was my pleasure, your majesty. That's enough for now. We are having a banquet for you. Please enjoy yourselves. Is a banquet a party? Plainly speaking, yes. Yes, it is. Cool. It's a party. A party for us. Oh, Miru, behave and be quiet. Ha, ha, ha. She is cheerful and excited. We still have time before the party. Please feel free to relax. Let us prepare for the banquet. This is like... We're gonna truly get some... Some R&R &R after everything we've been through. It seems we can relax for the first time in a long time tonight. I think so, too. We have to leave here tomorrow. It's a good chance to relax. Mila Seizu, the country where Dart was born. What? We'll be busy again. Dart was born in Mila Seizu, you say? I'll be walking around till the party starts. Bye! Hmm, me too. Bye. Hey, where are you going? I have an errand to do. Are you going too, Rose? Let me go too. 
Ah. Uh, you have to appreciate what everyone did. Hmm. Why don't we go out too? Or stay in. I love you, Dart. Since I was little. It never changed, even when you went on your journey, Dart. Actually, I started to love you even more. Because while you were gone, I was thinking about you every single day. Shauna. So, I don't mind being your baby sister, because I can be with you every day. That's just how I think. I... I don't... I don't think of you as a baby sister, Shauna. I... Let's continue this after our journey is over, all right? Mm. Why don't we continue it right now? Girl, Dar, welcome back! What's wrong? You have such a sour face. You, you think so? Anyway, you're famous in the city. The hero who defeated the dragon that descended down on Tiboroa. If you say so, it still doesn't feel like it's real. It's your modest attitude. You are our time's latest hero. Um, by the way, the party is starting. Get rid of your sour face and be happy. See you later. Okay, where were we, Shauna? We were about to smooch, I think, before we were so rudely interrupted and somebody came in here. Oh, Mr. Dart, Miss Shayna, why are you here? Uh, we're waiting for the party to start. It's starting soon. Please, get everyone or I cannot prepare the dresses. I'll see you later. Okay, uh, why don't we just, why don't we just save this for later? Cause like, this shit ain't working. I'm gonna look for everybody. Yeah, uh, why don't we, why don't, wait, uh, why don't we, this is awkward. This did not go as planned. All right, so we have control of Dart, and we need to find everybody now. I know who Princess Emile is in love with. Ooh, who? If Princess Emile is happy, I'm happy. Who's Princess Emile in love with? Oh, my God, the princesses are all in love. Oh, this is exciting. Everyone's in love. This, too, ends, apparently, with love everywhere. You're in love, and you're in love, and you're in love. Princess Lisa's in love. Princess Emile's in love. Albert seems in love. Shauna's in love. Dart's in love. Rose is in love. Congo loves something. Linus and Lloyd were- oh! Do you know about the legend of the mermaid? No. Please tell me about it. The king of some country is gazing out over the waves of the sea and thinking, his life is hollow, just like the vanishing bubbles. Everything looked like that because the king didn't know true love. Under the waves, a mermaid was thinking the same things while gazing at the clouds in the sky. Oh my, and what happened to the two of them? Would you like to know? This is a secret story handed down only within the Sertio royal family, so I cannot tell you anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. I cannot go on. Oh, you're teasing me. <laughs> but I'm having a fabulous time. I don't notice the passing of time when I'm talking with you. Uh-oh. I knew it. You're here. Is something wrong? The party is starting soon, so I'm calling everybody down. It's already that time? You interrupted me for a party? Unfortunately, I have to leave you. When can we meet again? When the stars fill the sky. You, you can simply say tonight. At the party. <laughs> you, can, you can simply say tonight. I still not, cannot believe it has been six months since I fell off the horse. You know, that's a saying for, for, like, giving up. I'm still having a hard time adjusting six months of emptiness in my heart. It's as if I'm still in a dream. I think Albert can help fill that emptiness up. I did not mean that. Oh, jeez. Let's check on Lisa. All right, here we go. A missable scene. If you don't see this now, you will never see it. A strong heart. Passionate eye. 
Oh, a fabulous man. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, Dart. Uh, how long have you been here? Oh, uh, how, how may I help you? What is going on here? Uh, everyone is looking forward to attending the party tonight. Uh, of course I am too. I am looking forward to attending the party tonight. So, so who's Lisa in love with? A passionate eye? What did that say? Go to be go to bed. Eek, eek, eek. Okay, that's weird. All right. Well, that's it. That was the scene with Lisa. Let's find the rest of the party. If you head into the guest room right here on the side of the tower where Lisa is, we'll find a friendo. I am a hero. He would laugh at me. <laughs> I laugh now. I did laugh. Hmm. Since I have started to wear this choker, I have not laughed for years. <laughs> it was worth the wait. Oh, you're here. I'm here to tell you that the party's starting. <laughs> It'll be a fun party. Weird. All right. What about by the kitchen here, I wonder? Just a peek is fine. I want to see the party food. We're not going to eat now. We just want to sample the food. That is eating. Come on, please get out. You're delaying the preparation. Ow! Mr. Tart, please stop them. Wars never choose their time. You have to eat whenever you can. That is a basic understanding for a warrior. You want to eat too, don't you, Dart? Yeah, me too! Stop it. You are not a kid anymore. Oh. You too, Hatchel. The party is starting soon. Behave yourselves. Is that true? Why did you say so? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm here to tell you that. I just got hungry. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you have to listen. You gotta, you know what I mean? All right, next, we want to see if we can find our dear friend, Kongol. That is the only person that we're missing. Oh, there he is. Kongol has friends. Friends of different species. Not bad. Whoa! Don't do that. That's what I should say. Did you hear Congo speaking? Not really. By the way, the party's starting. Hmm. Everybody's here. Uh, we're gonna have this party for now. That seems fine to me. By the way, she was saying something about dresses, but where should we go? We have to ask Libria about it. All right, so if you didn't grab these items, you can do that now. And as soon as you're done, oh, look who it is. It seems everyone is here. Miss Shauna, Miss Rose, and Miss Miru, please come this way. You have to change into the dresses. Dresses? You're talking about us? Yes, I am. Princess Emile and Princess Lisa insist. Good for you. Yeah. No, thanks. It's not like you. Because I'm a dancer. I can't dance well in those dresses. No thanks for me either. I feel naked without my sword. Please, wait in the living room. I will come and take you there later. Shana's gonna be so hot. That's the living room? Like, okay. Everything is ready. Please proceed to the chamber of the sun. Are you guys ready for a party? I hope you got everything. Because that, my friends, means the end of Dis 2. This is a banquet to honor the seven heroes who saved Tiboroa. Please enjoy yourselves to the utmost. Look at this. Mr. Dart. Wait for us. Uh, excuse? 
You must be Mr. Dart. I am dying to hear your story. Oh, excuse me, but monopolizing him is not fair. Please, let me hear your story too. I would like to know more about you. Oh my, don't be so fresh with him. I talked to him first. Ladies, 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 there is enough of me to go around. Oh, you must be Mr. Hatchell. I'll take care of this, of things here. Why don't you go and enjoy yourself with Shauna? At least tonight, you have to make good use of the time the two of you are together. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure Hatchell has no problem talking to talking to two ladies, you know what I'm saying? Gongle, what are you up to, bud? What did you do to Shauna? Do? I didn't do anything. No Shauna here. No? Nope. Gongle tall. Gongle doesn't see from here. Where is she? No Shauna yet? The perky dance by Miss Miru is very entertaining. Are you enjoying yourself? Can we leave the room? Nope, you can't. Well, that's foolish. What is this guy? Miss Shauna should be already here. You are the star of the night. We are just serving as a backdrop. <laughs> they literally look like backdrops. They said they're just serving as a backdrop. Let's talk to Miru. Are you enjoying yourself? Yup, it's fun. Are you gonna dance too? Uh, I'll try. Right on. Look at them dancing. If you say no, I'm pretty sure she just makes you dance anyways. Where's Shauna? I don't know. Go look for her. She should be waiting for you. Come on, go. Hey, didn't you find Shauna yet? Nope. Did these guys say anything? Oh, look it. Princess Lisa, dresses and starlight are not enough to illuminate a girl. Just one word is enough. A kind word from a loved one that makes girls grow. <laughs> uh, what? I have to go to Milisezu with Dart. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you forever. Emil, well said. The future of Surio and Tiburoa is shining like the sun. I believe love is the only entity that never changes over time. And distance makes the heart, makes the love grow deeper. I was going to say heart grow stronger, but... I cannot watch this anymore! What's wrong? You have a long face. If you are looking for Shauna, she's not here. Hmm. I cannot thank you enough. Yeah, it sounds like, it sounds like Sergio, like, Mr. Dart! Miss Rose needs you. This way. Miss Rose? What does she need? Rose? Dart. Why are you procrastinating like that? Do you want her to catch a cold or something? Making her wait all night like that. <laughs> She's over there. <gasps> you look beautiful. Thank you. But it's all thanks to this dress. No, that's not true. Look, a falling star. I wonder if my wish will come true. It will. Because... I wish the same thing. And with that kiss, the end of disc two and the beginning of disc three. Welcome, my friends, finally to disc three out of four of The Legend of Dragoo. The Water City of Fernie, Chapter 3, Fate and Soul. It's such a dramatic difference to go from the events of Disc 2, which are uh, really us just trying to, like, go after the singular purpose. Disc 3 is going to open up 
the worlds a little bit more of Legend of Dragoon. I'm very excited for it. There is the smell of blood around this place, but hmm, it's not bad at all. Oh my god, it's been a long time. Hmm, have you been here? Uh, y yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm very popular, that's why. Dongle hmm. Cross Sea, first time. Verney the Water City. This port is the front door to Milisezu. Anyway, I wonder why Lloyd revealed his destination to us. I still don't know. Whatever he wants, this will be the end of it. I agree. For the sake of the victims so far, it's not only that, but in order to prevent there being new victims, we have to stop Lloyd. Yeah. Welcome, my friends, to the Ferny Water... The... Wait. Ferny the Water City right here in Milisezu. We are officially in Milisezu, a new continent, a new kingdom. Long gone are the days of Tiboroa, but not really. We could literally just talk to Kayla right here, and we could board the ship to go to Queen's Fury. But first, I figure this is a wonderful time to actually explore Ferny. Up here is an item shop. We're not going to worry about that right now. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to come into this house right here. Because there's actually a stardust that we can grab right away, right over in this. It is sitting next to a fishing rod. Is this used for fishing too? Right off the bat, as soon as we get here, we can grab a stardust. One of two that we can find here in uh, Inferni. We can also talk to people and see what's going on here. This place is warm because of the warm currents. But if you go inland, it becomes suddenly cold. Suddenly cold. There's also more people out here now. Uh, if you visit this country, the royal capital Dininograd and Crystal Palace are must to see. Something's going on in the back of the village. I wonder what's going on. I don't know, but that's where we need to go. So why don't we head there now? A gathering of a lot of people that we've seen before. Atlo, Drake the Bandit. Uh, obviously none of them are the, the ones that we've seen before. They're just reuse their models. Well, this seems to be all of us. Now, I'll explain the strategy. We have to overcome the white wolf called Kamui that lives in the evergreen forest between this village and Dininograd. Did you call us just for that? Not only that, a boy from the village, Tio, disappeared in the evergreen forest. The strategy is simple. All of us will beat the bushes all over the evergreen forest. Hmm. I promise a five times larger prize for the one of you who defeats Kamui. I promise the same for the one who saves Tio. <laughs> it's gonna be me. Nah, I meant you to do it. <laughs> who are you? I've never seen you before. You look like you have a chance, but I'm getting the prize. Don't ever disturb me. <laughs> Are you scared out of your wits? Can I talk? Cut it out. We have to cooperate or we cannot overcome Kamui. Huh. I'll let you know when we will start. Until then, you have some free time. You are dismissed. The resident knight, Harris. Looks like he is the resident knight from Milosezu, of course. We can talk to these guys if we want. I'll buy this and that with the price. <laughs> nice. It's just one wolf. I'll shoot it with my arrow. You know, I know a guy that shot me with an arrow. It was nice. Anyway, the resident knight's uh, apartment or house or whatever you want to call it is right in front of us. Uh, we can check that out, actually, if we so choose. We'll need to come here later uh, for a reward that we will be able to get. Sorry about Bulgus' disrespect. Everyone is feeling uptight before the battle with the savage wolf. Please excuse him. Oh, no, it's okay. I, I understand. You see, I'm also, I'm also like, you know, I understand. You are not here to overcome the wolf. Hmm. Be careful moving forward on your journey. Is that a threat? Did you just threaten me, dude? No, I don't think he threatened me. I think I'm just, I think I'm just feeling a lot of emotions. Anyways, the next place that we want to head to is actually the inn that we can see over right over here. This is where this yellow marker is. Because we can only fully explore, explore? 
explode, Fernie, if we have a boat. It was three years ago Tio brought back an injured wolf cub. That wolf is the Kamui we are talking about. Hmm. So he wasn't... He wasn't evil then. There's also a save point, but we just saved because it's the beginning of just three, so I don't think we need it. I'll be right with you. Um, excuse me, I just need to do this real quick. Thank you. Uh, here is the license for the boat. The mayor gave us an order to rent the boat to warriors for free. Warriors? Well, you are the warriors who came to overcome the wolf, aren't you? Uh, no, actually, we're not. We're just travelers. We just arrived from Tiberoa today. Uh, from Tiberoa? Oh my god, with that huge boat? Yeah, it's the Queen Fury. Well, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven! Could you be the famous Dart and Companions who conquered the Sea Dragon in Elisa Bay? Uh, I guess the story's traveled all the way here. Uh, and, uh, let the mayor know about this. He'll be happy to hear about this. Here it is, the license for the boat. Take it, come on. License for the boat. Thank you. Now we can use the boat whenever we want. I have to thank you. Thanks to you, we can go fishing and go to Tiparoa. If you need anything, just drop by. We have accommodations too. I'll give you a good price. And he will. It only costs 25 gold to stay at this inn, which is actually wild. And uh, I really appreciate it. Very nice of him. But anyways, we're going to jump into the gourd. I mean, the boat. Uh, and we are going to explore the rest of Fernie and see what they have for us to do here. So uh, right now, we could go to the left to talk to a fisherman in a weapon shop. But instead, we're going to go to the upper right here. We want to go talk to the mayor before we can really, really explore this town. You'll see that the house to the right is actually blocked by that Brutus guy. Uh, so we can't go over there. But instead, where we can go is we can go to the clinic or the mayor's house. All right, now we can go to the mayor's house. I had to go to the clinic real quick to get rid of my despirited, which uh, stops me from getting any spirit points in battle on Dart. Uh, so I just went to the clinic real quick to get rid of that instead of by buying an item and doing it that way. We were right there. Are they coming yet? The heroes from Tiburoa. Hmm. Looks like the mayor is looking for us. Hello, mayor. Oh, I couldn't sit still. I was just pacing around waiting for you. The story of your heroic deeds in Tiburoa has reached us here in Fernie. It is wonderful what you did. And now, I would like you to listen to my story. Uh, please wait. I don't know what you're talking about. I would like to talk briefly about the sad situation in this village. Would you please listen to me? Uh... Uh... Okay, fine. It's fine! Okay. This is my daughter, Fa. A few days ago, my daughter was attacked by a wolf. Fortunately, the injury was not bad. However, since then, she hasn't talked at all, probably from the shock of the incident. Hmm. Poor thing. The wolf is becoming more savage every day. Now he has been joined by monsters from the Evergreen Forest, and they attack people. I see. The warriors outside are the group headed for battle. Indeed, if we finish off the wolf, your daughter may become better. Hmm. But it is more complicated than that. The wolf called Kamui that attacked Fa was kept by a boy of this village until recently. And the boy who kept Kamui named Tio has disappeared. On the night Fa was injured, Tio disappeared from his home. Probably he feels responsible and ran away. Tio has been Fa's friend since they were little. They are best friends. And you want us to cooperate with you on your mission. Yes, of course I cannot force you. Now, we, we have a lot of warriors. Maybe there are enough. Oh, uh, sorry about this. I've made you listen for such a long time without thinking about you at all. Well, as my apology, won't you stay at my house for the night? It'll be an honor to entertain heroes. Well... Hmm. Oh! I think Fa likes Shauna. Do you like Shauna? For tonight only. Thank you. I am glad. Fa is happy too. She has been lonely since her mother passed away. Now, let me see. When you are ready to stay, come back. I will prepare dinner with Fa. Okay. Things seem to be going fine here. So we're actually just going to talk to him right away. There's no reason not to. 
Are you ready to stay here? Yes, yes we are. Now, let's have dinner. There's nothing, there's nothing that you can actually get right now or see right now that you won't be able to get later. The only thing is that guy Brutus, if you try to walk over there, he's going to be like, oh, you can't go this way, it's blocked. And then we'll, we'll have to go talk to the mayor. Yes, dear, are you sleepy? You want to go to bed together? Probably she wants warmth. Let's go to bed together. That's cute, Shauna, being a caretaker and all that jazz. Now, I hope you guys are ready for a little bit of a mind blow here. Hmm? This lullaby... Home of Hashel, 27 years ago. Isn't it a lovely tune? This tune is a lullaby that I'm dedicating to my future baby. That might be better for her than mastering the martial arts. Wait a minute. Is Shauna Claire's baby? She's sleeping now. Isn't it a sweet tune? I learned this from Dart. What? Dart knew this tune. He said that his late mother sang to him. It's a special lullaby for Dart. What? I see. It was not a coincidence for me to be here. I'm going to get some air. Guys, is Dart Hatchell's grandson? It reminds me that Dart has been outside on the roof forever. Why don't you join him? Yeah. Yeah, as if that wasn't, like, a big, like, they kind of nonchalantly just, like, like, obviously it's a big deal, right? But they just revealed that as if, what, are we not supposed to know? Look at Miru skulking in the dark. Look at the moon. Oh, my God, I love Fernie, man. It's a tune from my memory. Do you remember when you first came to Salise? I was little, and you used to sing this song to me. I remember that. Back then, I used to take care of you as if you were my real baby sister, Shana. <laughs> like a baby sister. But many things have changed since then. You and I too, Dart. Yeah. You and I too, Shana. Yeah, we have. Childhood friend, hmm? I wonder how my childhood friend is doing. The moon that never sets. I hadn't noticed, but the moon has been involving itself in our journey. Uh -huh. uh, my, my head hurts. Shauna, what's wrong? Are you all right? Shauna's a werewolf! Just kidding. I'm fine now. I can leave anytime. <laughs> See, I'm fine. Woo! Are you really okay? You can stay here forever if you like. All right, we gotta go. Thank you very much, but uh, I really have to go. I'll see you soon. Take care of your creepy father, Fa. Let's go. We have to find Lloyd soon, or it'll be too late. And we need to get out of this mayor's house because he asked me to stay here forever. And I, that's really fucking... I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Anyways, he asked that and it's like, whoa, okay, buddy. The animals in the forest became savage like Kamui. Please be careful. So Kamui is actually in uh, an old Ainu uh, mythology. Uh, Ainu being what predates uh, Japanese, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and basically the Kamui was... Uh, th th 
earth and water existed in a sludge. It's a it's a creation myth. Kamui is like the thing that put things on the earth. Uh, so yeah, so uh, this wolf's name is Kamui. All right, so we're going to the right here. This is a little bit a little bit of trivia for you, in case anybody ever asks you about Legend of Dragoon trivia. This here is Tio's house. We weren't able to go here before because the guy was in the way, but now we can. We can talk to his parents. Calm down. We have so many worries. Warriors, Tio will come back. Kamui is a monster now. It's not the Kamui of before. Oh no, Tio, Tio. Uh, and then there is some stuff that we can actually do. So if we come up here real quick, you'll actually see that there's, so there's a slide that we need to use up here. Uh, right here, we can use that shelf, which will open the gate. And then we go use this door here and we'll slide through their house. They have a built-in slide in their house, which is super cool. If you don't open that gate, you'll just come over here. You'll just get smacked. In this metal basin here, we can find the last stardust that we can find here in uh, Fernie. So that's that's it. That's everything. Right there, we can flip that switch to open the gate. And there you go. That's pretty much everything that you can find in Fernie. There's no items, just stardust. This path path to the south here this leads to the exit of Fernie to the Milosezu continent and of course the evergreen forest which is where we have to go although we're not going to tackle that just yet in this episode no 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 instead we're gonna hop back into the boat and we are going to go to the front we've been to the mayor's house we've been to the clinic we've been to Tio's uh but we haven't been to the weapon shop or the item shop here in uh in Fernie so that's something that we should check out now I think yeah So, if we go to the left right here, we'll have two options. We can either talk to the fisherman, which, why not? Let's see what he's got to say. Are you the heroes from Tuberoa? Seems there's no need for you to show up. Uh, that was rude. Never mind. I don't know why we went and talked to that guy. He sucks. Uh, we can go ahead and talk in the weapon shop and see what they have in their inventory for us. Which has a dancing dagger, which we already got a giganto helm, uh, which we do not have uh, uh, at, at all. And we can grab one right now. When magically attacked, SP is accumulated. It is only for Kongle, uh, and it increases its defense by 10 points. So let's go ahead and put that on. They also have combat shoes, which uh, increases escape rate from physical attacks. It just increases your avoidance by five points. Uh, we also have a D-Stone amulet, which is helpful in the Evergreen Forest, as there are some enemies that can petrify. And that is the first time, actually, that we can... We can be petrified in this game. Uh, attack badge, which will raise physical and magical attacking power uh, by five, which is pretty good, but not something we're going to use right now. Although we could potentially put it on Kongle just to make him stronger or Albert. Um, it will be useful to have them be a little bit higher of damage dealers uh, in the next in the next little bit that we're going to do. Of course, like you can see how much that actually increases Albert's attack, right? So, in fact, why don't we just go ahead? Let's buy one. Uh, I'm not going to equip it yet, but we bought one. And the Elude Cloak, which we can now finally buy at Disc 3. We got our Elude Cloak during Disc 1. So, that's that's how far in advance we were able to get them. Uh, just by fighting enemies that have random chances to drop stuff. Now, we want to head back to the front because there's still an item shop that we can check out. We want to go to the item shop here. Now, you can actually come in here and walk down the ladder and talk to this guy, but he won't actually sell you anything. He doesn't act like an item shop. He just acts like an NPC. Uh, but in this way, we actually can, can talk to him and buy stuff. And he has Thunderbolt, uh, which is an attack for all Thunder-based attack. Now, this isn't super useful, and I don't recommend buying any. Uh, it, there, there's no fight in particular that this is going to work really strong for. It's not strong against anything. It's not weak against anything. You get the idea. Uh, you could pick up a Depetrifier if you so choose, although we're not going to need it. Uh, we'll actually get one in the Evergreen Forest, so I'm not too worried about that. And obviously, we also just... It goes away after combat. It's not something that sticks around, so it's not a big deal. So we could go to the right here. This is one of the ways that you can get back up into the Queen's Fury and all that jazz, uh, which is perfect because... While in the next episode, we're going to go deal with Kamui in the Evergreen Forest and get all the items that we can in there and uh, perhaps even head to Dinengrad. In this episode, you know what? There are fairies living in the Evergreen Forest. My storybook says so. I think that we should end this episode by showing something a little neat. Oh no, I shouldn't have read the tale about fairies in the Evergreen Forest. Fairies in the Evergreen Forest? It's a kid's toy. I used to play with it. What does that mean? What do you guys think? Are there fairies in the Evergreen Forest? That sounds strange. 
or does it? Keep that, keep that in the back of your mind, dear viewer, because, because you're gonna be, you're gonna you, just keep that in the back of your mind. All right, all right. So, uh, my, for completion's sake, let me just show you the item shop. This is the item shop uh, without going into the boat. So again, you won't actually be able to talk to. You can come down here and talk to him, but he's not going to sell you anything, which is kind of weird because the incident, the sales of items, has increased a lot. I don't know if I should be happy or sad. That's it. That's 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 the whole that's the whole kit and caboodle. And because this is a new a new disc, I'm going to end this episode by getting on board the Queen Fury because we can do that and heading all the way back to Bale. Because it's been so long since we checked in on Lavitz's mom that I thought we'd come over here and see what's going on. I appreciate the couple's offer, but I cannot forget about Lavitz. I cannot think of anything but Lavitz. Oh, Lavitz. Lavitz. What was the, what was the thing? It, this, of course, being disc three means that there is something new happening. We offer to be your real family because we thought we could replace Sir Lavitz, but it wasn't much help to Lavitz's mother. I feel sorry. You tried to replace Lavitz? We offered to act as the real family because we thought we could replace Sir Lavitz, but we weren't of much help to Lavitz's mother. What can we do for her? Uh, maybe not try to re replace her son! Anyways, I think it's worth coming and and just reminding, just reminding Lavitz's mom that we didn't forget about her, you know? Even though she's hanging out with this family that we saw in the road. Anyways, that's pretty much it. But wait, there's more. I actually highly recommend that you stop by Lohan and stock up on Spinning Gales. This is one of the only locations, at least that I know of, that we can get Spinning Gales before a very, very important boss fight where Spinning Gale will win the day. So I highly recommend going back to Lohan, picking up uh, like four or five of those. And also, I have enough money, so I'm also just going to grab my third legendary cast while I'm here. And let's go all the way back to Fernie the Water City. And after all that, we've made it back to Fernie the Water City. So I just wanted to show that little scene with Lavitz's mom, because that is, of course, like I said, that is dialogue that changes every disc. Uh, after every like huge major event um, so it's just something to keep in mind and keep coming in and of course working on additions uh, you can't beat it right so now we are going to head to the evergreen forest we have to go into this house again because that's one of the only ways to connect to your boat you could also dock your boat in the item shop uh, but ours is docked right right here right where's our boat if your boat isn't there, which sometimes it will reset and it will go back to the inn where we got it in the first place. So d don't worry, you didn't. It's not. It's not like gone forever. And there we go. There's our boat. Here we go to Evergreen Forest, my friends. There's actually like a little sign you can see as you go. Man, that was a big episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. A uh, special shout out to those that are watching in the premiere every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern. I sincerely appreciate you guys hanging out. You make it you make it really cool to watch this with somebody. Uh, and it's fun to kind of give some backgrounds into, into, into what happened while recording or, or how many times did I record something. You get the idea. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You should also check me out on twitch.tv slash online every Thursday through Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern where we stream. Uh, I love you guys very much. Thank you for watching. And remember, never give up. Never surrender to Kamui? who we're going to defeat in the next episode.